Paulo Borges is preacher. Well, you asked for it and you got it. It's my UI and this is how you set it up, how you get it, all those cool things. So we're going to go through this step by step. I don't want any mistakes. This is how I do it. It works for me. If you have any trouble, please post on the forums. Somebody might be able to help you out. Okay, this is how I do it. So you're going to go to www.preachgaming.com. That's our website. Spend some time there. Join a community if you wish. Other than that, go to the forum. As you can see there. Da, 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 da. Go down to World of Warcraft discussion. Go into the add-ons section where we have people showing off their UIs and all that kind of stuff. And then click on Preach User Interface Download. Okay? You're going to see a link there. There's a post by me. Six happy steps. There is the link. So if you click that, you're going to get the option to download PreachUI.ra, which means you're going to need some way to unpack this. Usually WinRa is the recommendation I choose for this one, or WinZip, something along those lines to unzip this file. So save that file wherever you want, okay? Once you save that file, you'll have it on your system. There it is, UIEdited.ra, PreachUI, whatever it's going to be. Right, and then extract that file. So extract files. There you see, pick wherever you want it to be, desktop, UI, edited, whatever. Okay, it'll go ahead and it's going to extract this. Now, this folder contains all my add-ons and the settings to use them, okay? So go ahead and get that phase done, and then we'll skip to the next bit. Okay, so you can see that has unpacked there. So we've got this folder now, wherever you've saved it, UI, edited, in there. Add-ons and what the fuck, WTF. So in the add-ons folder, that's all the add-ons I use, okay, to get my UI. And you've got this WTF folder here. Now, next step is to do something that is most important before you do anything else. Is to go and find your World of Warcraft. And copy your WTF and then copy your interface add-ons folder. You want to copy that. And you want to copy your WTF file and save them somewhere. Preferably on your desktop. Copy and save them somewhere. So you can see I've got a little folder called UI. I've saved my interface and WTF folder there. Just as a clear demonstration of what you should be doing. So go into your World of Warcraft folder, wherever it is, go into your WTF folder, copy and save that to somewhere, and go into your interface folder and copy and save your add-ons. Very important. This is just so you've got a backup. If anything goes wrong with installing my UI, you need to be ready. So copy your WTF and your interface folder, okay? Very easy. Right, the next thing you're going to do is not scary because of what you've just done, is delete these WTF and interface folders from your World of Warcraft directory. You're then going to copy in my ones. So you should have two windows open, like this. So you've got your add-ons and WTF folder in there. That's the wrong one. There we go, World of Warcraft. Okay, so you've got your World of Warcraft. So you want to go into your interface folder in World of Warcraft. That should be deleted now. And then put my folder into there. Just drag it on over, okay? Just drag it over like that. And then the other one, go into your, this one and copy your WTF folder to there. Very easy. So now you will have my WTF folder and my interface folder inside your World of Warcraft directory. Your next thing to do is to open this, open your WTF, and you'll see that we've renamed it. So you need to put your account name in there. That's not your email address, it's the specific account name that you have. It's definite to you. That's what you need to put in there, in caps lock. Okay, so you need to put that in caps lock in there. Then you need to put your server name, wherever you play, in there. Very easy to do, just put your server name in there. Then put your character name, your main character that you want to set this up on first, okay? Very easy to copy this later and just change the character names. Okay, so that's all you need to do. And it's listed for you, so put your character name in there, put your server name in there, and put your account name in there. This is in your WTF folder. You can see that it's in your WTF folder in your World of Warcraft account that you've just copied my WTF folder over to. Just put your account name in, your server name, and your character name. Okay, the next step is going to be done in game. So let's jump to that. Okay, so when you get to your character screen, I'm using Untrial's account for this demonstration. Make sure you go to your add ons, make sure you've loaded out of date add ons. There's going to be all sorts of things selected. That's okay. You might not want everything in here, but go through it one by one to disable whichever thing you don't particularly want. It's entirely your choice. Let's log into Untrial's Paladin. And we'll see what your UI should look like immediately after you, uh, you know, <laughs> do the honors on your character. Okay, so it should be a game and UI probably looks something very similar to this. Don't panic. It's okay. 
Everything's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. All right, so we're going to take this step by step. Pause the video, whatever you want to do to make sure you get this correct. We're going to do it every add on at a time. So we'll type in slash pit. Then go to profiles. And then you're going to select Kaith UI. Remember, my UI is based on a UI created by Kaith. I take no credit for a lot of the graphical display. I've tweaked it a little bit, but that's it. It's mainly Kaith's UI. So we're going to be selecting a lot of Kaith UI throughout this. So close that. And there you go. Those my unit frames started to look a little something like what you see on all the videos. The next things we're going to do is our buttons. So type slash bar. That's going to open, open Bartender 4. This is what's going to be your buttons. Again, go to profiles drop down the menu and you're gonna get a ton of options okay don't panic don't panic these are all different characters that i've played in the past don't worry about it you're going to be selecting preach zenadar that's e with the accent over it there are two preach zenadars one with an accent over the a one with an accent over the e you want the one with the accent over the e it's just above sylvanas select that one and there you go my buttons are starting to look exactly like mine yeah the next thing is we're going to get rid of these boxes these are called KG panels, and they're for background overlays and just nice smooth edges. Type slash KG panels space config. That's going to bring up the KG panels config. I suggest you don't mess too much with this unless you know exactly how it works. Go to profiles again. Change it to KTUI. And then there they go. All done. Next one, select your map. Right click it. Profile. Choose. KTUI. And there you go, you got my exact mapping system. SCADA should be fine. Now, when it comes to the um, box here, your chat box, I just unlock it and I drag it to wherever I want it to be. Now, you can have this as wide or as thick as you want it to be. Just be aware I like to leave a gap at the bottom so I can actually type in it. Okay, we're back. Apparently, I can't do that while I'm in uh, <laughs> while I was in the combat log menu, that's all. So, in the general tab, it's very easy to do. Stretch it out wherever you want. Just make sure you leave a gap down at the bottom so you can type in. Easy. This add-on here is Tell Me When. Uh, these four buttons. These are one of the uh, main add-ons that I talk about a lot. Is the Tell Me When add-on. If you don't wish to use it, drag it off to the side and slash TMW and it will disappear. That's all you need to do. If you want to use it, slash TMW, right-click one of the buttons and you'll get the option to do something with it. If you're definitely never going to use it, disable it in your add-ons menu. That's entirely up to you. Now, for these uh, icons above the, uh, the level health bars. Interface. Add-ons, go down to tidy plates. See tidy plates there? Change the themes to whatever you want it to be. So I use gray. Let me go back, tidy plates. I use gray. So for, if it's neon damage, change it to gray damage. If it's neon tank, change it to gray tank. And okay. And now it looks exactly like mine. Good stuff. Good. Everybody happy? Good to see. So hopefully I haven't keybound anything on this character yet. So if I cast the heal, you can see Quartz is all working as it should do. All this casting and good stuff like that. Now the next one is MSBT. One thing I will make note of is if you go to interface, go to game, and you should disable your floating combat text. I prefer to do this. Disable all these things because I just use the normal standard text bar. So I can see my casting, heals landing on me come off to the left and our damage will of course come to the right if i can just do some damage on here it's a holy shock you see the damage comes down to the right entirely up to you next one is class timer type slash class timer unlock it and drag this away for a moment okay so these are the um ui issues that follow my buffs and stuff so you're gonna get four options if you've got a pet three if you don't have a pet one is your focus i like to drag that over there that's my focus target my target, I like to put just above my character. So we'll drag this to here now. And my player one, I obviously like above me. So in order to get these to the right size, bar settings, drop the menu down. General, frame attributes. There is no profile for this, unfortunately. You're going to have to wing it and do it by eye. Uh, and just, just use general for now. Change the bar width. Now, if you want to make this exactly perfect, because you're a stickler for those kind of things, that's I totally understand. Go down here. And then change the bar width there so it matches up. I like to have it matching up perfectly with the width of my unit frames. Don't worry about the target one. It will match this perfectly. And then pick wherever you want it to go. And I like to have a little bit of thickness to it. And that's about it. So, once I am happy with those. Da -da -da, looks good. And my focus target looks good as well. I'll put my focus there. I then lock those. Very easy to do. And now my UI is pretty much 
almost there, isn't it? You can see itself, it pretty much exactly has it wants to be. The only other things I want to check is grid. So we're going to jump into a battleground to make sure grid is fine. All right. All right, so we're in a BG, and obviously everything looks a bit wacky. All you need to do is open your raid frames at the side and hide them. And your grid should be automatically configured, okay? Your grid should look absolutely baller from the get-go. You should have no issues with your grid. And everything should be good, guys. That should be your UI configured as you like it. If you want anything else, feel free to leave a question in the forums if I've missed anything. But other than that, you should be absolutely set to go with no troubles whatsoever. And you should be ready to heal and get everybody going on. Alright guys, that's my UI. You take it easy balls, I hope you enjoy it.